Hello everyone, welcome to Southern Reads. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and be sure to press the notification button so you can know when I post a new video. Today I'm going to show you how I make this really simple but really pretty royal blue wreath. These are the supplies I'm going to use to make this wreath. I got these ribbons and the mesh from Craft Outlet. This is from Hobby Lobby. And I just have my silver wreath frame from Dollar Tree. Hobby Lobby and actually these are from Dollar Tree. So what I'm going to do is a white poof base with silver ruffles and then this royal blue ribbon. This is all glitter ribbon and then this has a blue background that's got kind of a it's a royal blue and then it goes into a lighter blue I'm not sure it's like around the snowflakes it's hard to see it but it, it's kind of a two-tone blue and it's got silver glitter around the snowflakes and a silver border so it's gonna be really pretty I'm going to add the pipe cleaners to my frame I have 14 pipe cleaners I add one to each crossbar in the center I'll go around the two inside rings and I'm twisting three times and I'll just go under it and kind of put a piece on this side and a piece on that side because there's kind of a little notch and I twist it tightly and I'll do this going all the way around the center. After I go around the inside I'm going to start on the outside. I just pick a random crossbar to start. This time I'm going around the two outside rings and I'm twisting three times again. The only difference is when I'm done with that one, I will lay it across the bar. I use the second from the outside bar. Where that one ends is where I add my next one. And I'll do this going all the way around the outside. It should line up at the end. The last one should lay over and touch this one. And I end up with eight on the outside. So I have six in the middle, eight on the outside. I went around and opened all of the outside pipe cleaners. That just makes it easier while I'm adding my mesh. And I'm going to use a zip tie to attach my mesh. This is such a pretty iridescent color. And this mesh is really sturdy. I love the mesh that comes from Craft Outlet. All right, I'm gonna pull it even and then attach it to the pipe cleaner. The, yeah, the pipe cleaner that's at the crossbar. I'm actually attaching it to the actual crossbar, not the pipe cleaner. I'm not using that pipe cleaner yet. That'll be the last thing I do on this one. I can't find my wire cutter, so I'm just going to use these scissors that don't work anymore to trim away my zip tie, and then I'm just going to trim away this excess mesh. I'm going to do 10 inch poofs, so I like to help have my mat, use my mat to help me measure. Now I'm just going to go from the 20 to the 10, just pull it to the 10, squeeze it tightly. And add it into the zip tie, I mean the pipe cleaner. And I'm only twisting one and then a half times and I'll fluff. So again, I'm at the 20. I take my hand like this, grab it, and pull it to the 10. Squeeze, kind of pull that up and add it into the pipe cleaner again. Twisting one and a half times and fluff. And I'll do this going all the way around the outside. Once I get to the last poop on the outside, that's when I'm going to use the, those first pipe cleaners where I attach the mesh. I'm just going to pull it around the zip tie there and then attach it. So that gives me a seamless circle. You can't tell where it begins and ends from the front. So now I'm going to open up the inside ties and then I like to pull the mesh into the closest pipe cleaner. And then I just twist it once here. This just makes it where I don't have a poop that goes sideways. Now I'm just going to continue making my 10 inch poops going around the middle. Again twisting one and a half times but this time I kind of pull the pipe cleaners to the inside instead of the outside. This just keeps everything separated so I don't accidentally grab the pipe cleaner from the outside and I do that extra half turn to keep the mesh inside the pipe cleaner because sometimes it will pop open. Once I get to the last poop on the inside, I'm going to open that first pipe cleaner that I pulled the mesh in with and then just add this last piece in there. And this time I'll do it one and a half times. And then be sure to fluff that poop. And I'm going to pull 
this out just a little bit. Trim it away. Get my other zip tie. I'm going to spread these poofs apart. Push this to the back. And now I'm just going to attach it to that uh, crossbar that I actually started at. Pull it in there. This just makes sure it doesn't come undone. You do want to pull it tight. Once you cut it away, I'm going to push the zip tie to the front because I don't want anything sharp sticking out of the back and then trim that away. I do not suggest using scissors to cut your zip ties, but I cannot find my wire cutters at the moment and those scissors are already dull. I am using mesh from Hobby Lobby. This is not the best mesh that you can buy. The only good thing about it is it's kind of soft so it won't hurt your hands. It does fray a lot. It is flimsy, but it's pretty and I have it in my stash so I need to use it and it's going to work just fine making ruffles for this wreath. So definitely, definitely use what you have. Don't think you have to have the best of everything because this wreath is going to be just as beautiful as if I used a premium mesh and it's just you have to do a few tricks to hide the ugly parts. I'm going to cut these at 24 inches so I'm just using my mat to help me measure. I grab it at the zero, pull it to the center, and I'm going to use my rotary cutter and slice it. And I'm going to do this 14 times because I have 14 pipe cleaners. Once I'm done cutting all of my pieces of mesh, I'm going to lay it out flat on my table, put something heavy at the end, line it up. Now, here's the trick to do with this cheaper mesh. Your problem is the fraying. It only frays at the parts that you've cut. So my trick is to fold it under. It's about an inch. Now this mesh does want to move back and forth. I don't suggest using this kind of mesh when you do the um, curl method. You definitely don't want to use this mesh with that. Now could you? Yes. Will it work? Of course. But it does want to shift back and forth. So I'm curling it under and what this does is kind of tuck it inside so you won't see the fraying when it does fray. And now I'm just going to make my ruffles the way I always do. Once I get to the end, I'm going to take that piece and tuck it. And again, that just keeps the ugliness underneath. Now to add it into my wreath, I'm going to keep it centered, put that over top of the pipe cleaner, make sure it's right, twist one and a half times, and then overlap. When you use this um, mesh that frays more, you don't want to mess with it. Uh, you want to <laughs> handle it as little as possible. That's what I'm trying to get at. The less you touch, the better. So I fold it under. I'm just going to crease it once I get it folded like I want it. And go ahead and ruffle. Once I get to the end, tuck it under again. And now I have the pretty spark. Add it into my pipe cleaner. Make sure it's even. Twist one and a half times and then overlap it. It does not have to be perfect, but especially with it being this really pretty silver, it's kind of getting uh, lost in the waves, which makes a ruffle wreath look really pretty. It's when you have the different loops and not loops, but waves looks really pretty. So I'm going to go through and add a piece of mesh, a piece of ruffled mesh to each pipe cleaner. This is what it looks like after I add all my ruffles. It's so pretty. There are some spots that are fraying a little bit, but I'll just go through and tuck them under. But I'll mainly do that as I'm adding in my ribbons. So now I'm going to cut my ribbons. Today, since I'm only adding ribbon to my wreath, and not adding a sign or anything else. I'm going to cut my ribbons or my, my pieces of ribbon at 13 inches. So this is just slightly smaller than 13 inches. So it'll cut them around 13 inches. So I just line it up with the length of my piece of cardboard and then fold it over. 
and then I'll crease the end. So that counts as one. And I'm gonna do this, um, I'm gonna do seven twice. So I end up with 14 pieces. There we go. Three, four, five, six, seven. The reason I only do seven at a time instead of continuing to go, because I, one, I don't want it to get so thick that my scissors won't cut, and two, I don't want them to get so thick that they're completely different sizes from the inside to the outside. So to cut it, I'm just sliding the scissors in between the cardboard and the ribbon and cutting it off. And I end up with seven pieces of ribbon. So after I cut all my ribbons, I'm gonna go through and dovetail them. What I do is I just take two or three pieces of ribbon, line them up evenly, I fold them in half long ways, and then I'm going to cut from the wired end to the crease at an angle, like that. And you always want to cut that way because if you cut this way, you end up with your the end of your ribbon looking like this. But if you do that, excuse me, if you do that, just know that you need to cut from your um, wire at the tip to the crease, and there you go. So I'm going to do that with all the rest of the ribbon. I've got all of my ribbon cut and I went ahead and stacked it the way I want to add it to my wreath. Just kind of organizing the mesh a little bit. It kind of got moved around. So what I do is I take the two pieces. Like I said, I have them stacked together. I get them as evenly as I can and I fold them in half and crease. And then when I open it, I can see where I creased it. And then I usually pinch three times. So one, two, three. And then I just kind of fluff out the bow, or the ribbon. So now to add it into my pipe cleaner, I'm going to be sure to put the center where I pinched it into the pipe cleaner. And I'm twisting one, two, three times. And then I like to take a glue stick and roll down the pipe cleaner. Or you can use a pen or a pencil or just your finger, or you can cut them away, tuck them around to the back, whichever makes you happy. And to fluff my ribbon, I like to make an X. There is one tip for this. Be sure to pull your ribbon that way because this will all get covered once you add the ribbon to the outside. And then I like to make sure I'm tucking under the ugly pieces as I go along just to make it look nice and neat. And here I'll show you again. Get these even, fold them in half and crease. Open it and pinch three times. One, two, three. I'm fluff the ribbon out a little bit. And you can open your pipe cleaners if you want. I'm just sticking them on top of it. Twist three times and roll it down with the glue stick. And fluff it. I'm going to go through and add ribbon to each of my pipe cleaners. All right, y'all, this is what it looks like when it's all done. I think it's so beautiful and so simple. You could definitely add to this if you wanted to. You could add a sign or embellishments. But thank y'all so much for watching. And if y'all have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Or you can email me at craftingwithlee at yahoo.com. Thanks so much for watching, and if y'all liked my video or learned anything today, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and consider joining my wreath membership on YouTube. Thank you.